As we are into the game, Shakobi, the Kansas City Chiefs. How about K-Mac, a team we haven't seen? RG's team, the New England Patriots. Not a bad squad, if you say so myself. The thing about the New England Patriots is they have a lot of speed, and that's secondary. Guys like Jonathan Jones, Obi Malafonwu. Then you got your Stephen Gilmore's, your Devin McCourty's, your Jason McCourty's. They are stacked in the secondary, those New England Patriots are. They have good safeties that you can put at the linebacker position and Chung and Harmon. And then on offense, you obviously got Tom Brady. You got yourself Rob Gronkowski, Philip Dorsett. And what you'll see from a lot of these guys is they'll take the wide receiver, Cordell Patterson, and put him at the running back position. And he's very, very agile. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. He has a deadly spin move. The former Minnesota Viking, Cordero Patterson, came into the league. Everybody was saying he was going to be the next Devin Hester. Hasn't quite panned out like that. I don't pan he did have a good season with the Patriots, though. Seems, made, like a guy who would, seems like a guy who'd fit into a Belichick type scheme. That role player that can turn into something a little more. First and ten. Oh, Shakobi! Oh, how about that run off first down? That's Williams to the seven, 17 yards on the play to the 42 yard line. You guys got to forgive us. I don't have the chat up right now. Ran out of juice on the old mobile. Let, let it get a little charge and then we'll check back in with you guys. You see, look at the difference. You can just already tell. You see K-Mac, he's using those quick adjustments. That's the mechanic that allows you to hot route your different defenders without even having to click onto them. Quickly setting up his defenses, sending pressure. I mean, you can just already tell the difference in level of play that's going on in this game between Shakobi and K-Mac. Already seeing some very high level stuff. But on the flip side, it's been two plays for Shakobi. He's been able to move the ball to the 43-yard line in enemy territory. As we finish up day one of DreamHack, appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams is somewhere finding a monster. First and 10. Ooh, oh, big hit. hit. Yeah, and you see K-Mac, there's certain mechanics, Nick, if you want to play the game on the highest level, you need to be able to use them. And one of them is this quick adjustments mechanic that you see K-Mac do. What he does is he presses triangle, triangle twice. And what that does is pull up kind of like a hot route. Ooh, there goes Shakobi! Oh, he breaks a tackle, he breaks a tackle, he's into the end zone! Touchdown for Shakobi! He's smiling because he's got a six-point lead. Oh, man, I'm talking about quick adjustment. Shakobi doesn't seem to care, goes down, gets himself a touchdown. But long story short, those quick adjustments, they're pretty much hot routes for your defensive side of the personnel. You can do it with your D-line, your linebackers, or your secondary. And if you plan on playing Madden at the highest level, that is definitely a mechanic you better go and look up and lab and learn to master because it's something that all of the best players are using. There's Cordero Patterson trying to return the kick. Tom Brady and the Patriots. K-Mac at the helm. And usually you can't get a wide receiver in at the running back possession, but Cordell Patterson, he's a, he's a special case. The roster guys, you know, gave him a little special sauce, and um, he's allowed to be subbed in at the running back position as a wide receiver in the death chart. I believe the only receiver in the game that's allowed to do that. And there you do see Cordero Patterson at the halfback position. Two wide receivers split wide left, two tight ends, one on each side. It's going to be Patterson with the carry. A good good contain there. That was strong defense right there from Shakobi. K-Mac called a dive. Nothing open up the middle, tries to bounce it outside. Good edge containment from the force defenders and from the force defender. And right there, that was solid defense by Shakobi. It's gotta be discouraging if you came back and you were planning on running the ball and run defense looks like that. Brady, second and ten. Whoa. Hitch on the right side, but good collapse. Only gonna pick up five. And now a third and six for K-Mac. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, Nick. And you, you said these are two guys that we could have easily seen match up at some point throughout the MCS season. I mean, they have that level of talent. Uh, both of these players do. Third and six. Who do, who do they got in the chat, Nick? Let's get a... Get a one, one for Shakobi, two for K-Mac. Who you got in this final game of day one? One for Shakobi, two for K-Mac. Let's see where you guys have Ooh, to Dangerous throw over the middle. 
Gronk. But hey, that guy's, that guy's that pretty guy. good. I'm going to miss that guy, man. Look at these old school uniforms, too, from K Mac. Old the bright pads. blues. Those from the Drew Bledsoe years. I, 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 that's one of my favorite things about doing events like this. Um, you don't often get to interact with the chat as much, you know what I mean? And, you know, doing the bigger events, it, you know, you, you got to keep it a little more professional. But here at DreamHack, they give us that type of freedom. And I've had a really good time just interacting with those guys, seeing what they have to say. It, it's really made today, um, you know, that much funner and that much more special. So you shout out to all you guys that have tuned in and especially you guys in the chat that have engaged with us throughout the day. Uh, we appreciate you a lot. Really, <laughs> especially with the number of blowouts we've had, the chat has been big for us. They're saints. They're saints. We needed you guys. We needed you, and you were there for us. <laughs> OU Bobcats 39. Shout out to Ohio University. Says really hope DreamHacks continues with these tournaments. I do too, because this is this is awesome for the game of Madden. Third down of five. Uh, you know what? We're, with the turnout that they got at this tournament late in the year. Oh! That's a big sack. Big that's sack. That's a big, big sack right there. But I fully expect them to be back. You fill up a 96-person tournament like that in a game that's, you know, on its way out because we got Madden 20 right around the corner. Imagine how good an event like this could be, um, you know, at the beginning or early on in the Madden 20 season. I mean, it, it, the potential is unlimited. Rico and Nick just putting down monster drinks over here. I haven't had one all day. I've been, I've been good. It's got, it's Too much got info. The, it's, TMI. Yeah, I told you about those. Be Rico's beans, over here man. complaining about his stomach, and me and Nick had warned him about those beans and chili he ate. Any of those that were here with us earlier blatantly heard us. Warning Rico about those beans and chili. He While he didn't ate them in care. our face defiantly, I believe would be the adjective yeah. for how he ate them. Very defiantly. Oh, it was strafing like. Glitchmar, yes, this is the last this is the last game of the day here. You can keep track of all the action. DH.je slash Madden Dallas. Big play right here. Huge for K Mac. Fourth and eight. Three wide receiver look. Watch out for Patterson in the slot. A lot of motion in right now. Well, Gronk at tight end. Fourth and eight. A lot of clock. Oh, that play clock being used, flipping once again. Flipping the play. And these, these are good tactics. I mean, when you go up against players like Shakobi that you know like to make a crazy amount of adjustments on defense, flipping your formation is definitely... Pressure! Good, oh, throw him up, but Pressure! doesn't care! And how about... This is the what has been the knock on Tom Brady in this game is no matter how good of a passer you are, when you don't have the mobility, if there's any pressure in the backfield, Tom Brady is hosing right there. We saw it for K-Mac. And the bad thing for him is he takes the sack, so that gives Jacoby the ball on the 30. He's in easy field goal range now. Right up the seam. First down to the 15-yard line. Nick Three. trying to stay perfect on his picks. Supposedly perfect. I'm absolutely perfect. We need someone to fact check that. Now first and 10. 50 seconds and counting. In the first quarter, K-Mac and Jacoby. Play action pass. Jacoby looks back at the end zone. High pass, batted Ooh, away. Dangerous James. throw into coverage. Very dangerous. I got Jay himself back in the chat. I'm back up and running in the chat. What's up, Jay? Let's make Jumbo great again. So I, I had a chance. Jumbo formation. Uh -oh. While I was running out to, to grab up. a beverage, I had a chance to talk to everybody outside for a moment. There was no name that we know that didn't get out of their round robin. But in a surprise upset, do you know that Mills beat Blocky? Wait, Mills is here? Jay Mills? Third and nine. Look at Jay's Rico. It might not have been Jay Mills for those listening. Rico is completely buckling right now on who It's the won. chili and beans. It's got the all chili and up. beans has got you. I, I, I'm going back to pay attention to the game. Jacoby's Sh about to go up two possessions. 
Ball is down, kick is up, it is good. 10-0 the score. Look at this Jack gaming, Rico. Jaybird's NFL comparison, AJ McCarron, NBA comparison, Lou Williams. Oh, sweet Lou. Think that's oh, that's tough. Sweet you think, Lou. You think he's that good? We might have I to feel like Jaybird. AJ McCarron selling them short. I, I agree. I think they're AJ McCarron selling them way too short. Matthew Delavadova. Lou Williams is selling him a little high. Matthew Delavadova. <laughs> Just a tad bit. I'm gonna no, go. Lou's kind of inconsistent. Oh, Jay. I mean, K Mac just. Shakobi with huh? his defense coming in hot. It, it pains me to see Brady take hits, whether it's in real life, yeah, the virtual you okay, gridiron. Man? You got to protect Tom. You know what? I just thought about it. He might be Blake Bortles. Ooh, that's Bortles. No, no, think about it. Blake Bortles go, is the go. number 32 quarterback in the league right now. No, Eli Manning is 32. You think he, no, Eli's better than Blake. Ooh, what a blitz. Jacoby is sending the goons. Uh -oh. There goes Gronk. You can't bring down Gronk with one person. Tell you what, Jacoby is screaming Actually, out of that big nickel and nickel. He might be Nick Foles. He might be a backup. Oh. No, because think about it. He's. Do you think he's Foles one of the top 32 rig. Madden players in the world Ryan right now? Ryan Fitzpatrick. First and ten. That might be a good one. I think it's Ryan Fitzpatrick. I think that might be the perfect analogy. <laughs> Anarchy. And he though. caught Fitz magic for a little in the bit. Chat? <laughs> I said somebody <laughs> spiked the hot dogs, Rico Star. <laughs> Oh, no, I think great. I think Fitz Which might be the perfect analogy. Remember, he caught fire for a little bit. That was when he, he beat five Kiv. touchdowns in like week two. And that was the Kiv game. And then I mean, he came he back put, down to earth. He afterwards. just put up 86. Yeah, but this is a preseason game. If that was a preseason game, he would have been. Oh, nice swing route. There's that swing route again from under center. And that and that's the danger. You know, we talk about Cordero Patterson at halfback. Yes, running the ball is good, but. Man, those swing routes, when you have a guy who's a burner wide receiver at halfback, those swing routes can get dangerous. Yeah, the thing that I'm noticing is running the swing routes from under center seems a lot more efficient than running them out of the shotgun. There he goes again go. with a wheel that time. Not able to get sticky in the open field. James White. They got Cordero Patterson at halfback. Well, let's be honest, James White's more of a receiver. James White, just a monster. Huge in that Super Bowl against the Falcons a few years back. Huge on my fantasy team. You, I got you drafted like, a Patriots runner, taking a Patriots running back in fantasy James White in PPR is, is so good. He was good for eight catches so a game. Scary. It's just so scary, man. I had him. I did have him. Only right. time he right. it got you know bad, what? when yeah, Michelle got hot sure. late, White didn't get used as much, and he got hurt late. But he was money. The play early. action. Got him on the top. Dude, those little fade routes to the sideline, they're tough to stop this man. Yeah, that's big right there for K-Mac. Gets himself in the field goal range, could easily make it one possession ball game. We're looking to get the tutty right now. Tommy ball game leading the way. I haven't heard Dorsett or Gordon's name called yet. Gronk wide open, Looking doesn't for him. go to him. Oh, he came down with a catch, a touchdown for K-Mac. Uh, Josh, Josh Gordon. Gordon, the former Cleveland Brown, the current New England Patriot, coming down with a big touchdown for K Mac at the 234 mark. Good drive right there for Mac. K Mac, he, he's not only good at Madden, I've seen him play a little Fortnite. Oh, he's very good at Fortnite. He's an animal out there. Animal. We got in a problem, obviously, problem. Dude, he's... Go, go to Madden. He, he had these open. Fortnite, you know, games with all his subscribers and stuff on Twitch, and I got on there, I was playing with everybody, and obviously I didn't win, but always at the end, it seemed like it was K-Mac just making moves, putting in work. Pro Problem's got himself a pretty good Fortnite game. I know he's been big on the show lately. Yeah, he's become the baseball master. Well, now what does Shakobi have? The first touchdown he's given up. 2.28 to go, but he could use this entire clock. He goes down and gets a touchdown. It's going to make it tough in the second half. Yeah, that's a big drive right here. Huge drive. Once again, coming out in that trips tight end. Three wide receivers split wide left. Kelsey on the right side of the line. Williams on his right hip. Patty Mahomes. The guy initiated. Going along with us, said K Mac is hell on that fort. 10 7. Two minute warning. 
to milk that all the way down. That's a veteran move. You're not going to see in this game between uh, Shakobi and Kamak, you're not going to see anybody punting on fourth and one. You're not going to see him snapping the ball too early. These are two veterans of the game. Second and 12. Blitz picked up perfectly. He's got triangle wide open. He's got open. triangle on the crossing route. He's got him. He's got a first down and more to the 37-yard line. It's a very, very good read. Good thought. But a great tackle from k -Mac. His ability to click onto the defender, strafe up, anticipate the spin, and make the tackle, preventing, preventing Jacoby from getting by his defender and taking screen? it to the crib. Did we see a little bubble screen right there? Nice play. That was a very good tackle, though, from k -Mac. These guys are so good with that spin move. How many times have we seen today from other players, they'll go up for that hit stick and miss, just, and he's gone? They just get made look stupid, so that's how you know you're dealing with high-level Madden players, when you're dealing with guys that are willing to strafe, anticipate it, not go for the big hit, and make the tackle. Very, it's the small things that are very admirable. We're under the one-minute mark in the second quarter. 53 seconds remaining, third and two for Shakobi, up three. Got him. That's Travis Kelsey. It's a first down to the 16-yard line. I see you, Joe Rice, in the chat. I'll be back out there. What's going on, Joe? My guy, Wes, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed in him. In Rice? And I'm going to tell you why. We had, the, we had the hair bet. On the front. Okay. Um, then the next time, he said, hey, we should do that again. I said, no problem. Let me pick somebody. And if they win the whole thing, you shave your head. And, and, he, and, he, said and he said no. That's terrible. He's got some he's got some locks, man. He worked hard to get the to get the kid, the kid let us mimic going. But then you have to believe in yourself. Mano y mano, you have to believe in yourself. Manu? That's fair. That Manu. was pretty funny. Manu's here, isn't he? Yes, yeah. he is. 10-7, 12 seconds remaining. In the first half, five yards out for Shakobi. You notice k -Mac, he's, you know, trying to run this 5-2, kind of like what we saw from some serious, so dominant with uh, throughout the club championship in Madden Bowl. But Shakobi just having no issues with it so far at all. Okay, Joe Rice is so wrong that his hair has more value than mine. My hair, first of all, I'm a card-carrying member of Team Luxurious. We can go through a... My hair fought off Nickelodeon's <laughs> green slime. Oh, my. Do you not that remember makes, Houston as the Super Bowl? Doesn't yeah, that, that make your hair awesome. Teflon? There's a video of me I have getting it. the slime Rico with the Nickelodeon slime, and it's so embarrassing. Oh, almost picked oh. off because the joy on my face when I'm pulling that lever to release the slime on Rico is just too – I don't even want anybody to even see me that happy. It shouldn't even be, be allowed. I, when I went back and watched it, I was like, man, I was having way too much fun right there. And then all that happiness got taken away. It was a dream come true. They, they come up to you out of nowhere. Hey, ARG, hey, uh, you know, part of your work day, do you want a Nickelodeon slime Rico? It's like, absolutely. Uh, yes. Absolutely. I have the video. Tell me where Please to sign. Please don't share it. I'm telling you, it's embarrassing, like, my face when I'm, like... And it happened twice, because remember, you pulled it at first, and then, the time, and then, and then you did it again, it was like... <laughs> that was great. Terrible. 13-7 to seven at the half. Shakobi with the lead, but k max going to get the ball. Down six. This has been a very methodical game so far. We've seen a couple drives work their way down the field. Defense playing strong. See him asking in the chat of what council we're on. They, they're playing on the PlayStation 4 throughout this entire tournament here at DreamHack. It's a, a PS4 Madden tournament. $25,000 prize pool, handoff. Court, uh, that's James White with the carry. There you go, K-Mac. I mean, down six, you got the ball to start the second half. You already put together one very prolific drive with Tommy Ball game. We know the Patriots are some of the best at making those halftime adjustments. Ooh. It's a tough outside press. That's, what, that's the tough part about running outside. If that corner comes in and isn't blocked, you ain't going to see him until he's running into you. Big third down here for k -Mac. He's run the ball the first two downs here of the second half. Looking to pick it up through the air now. Tom Brady. Look to the outside. Big tackle at the 32-yard line. Fourth down. k -Mac. A big play. How how. How this monumental would this be if Shakobi gets a stop? This would be huge right here for Shakobi. Get the stop already being field goal range. 
Again, a free opportunity to just milk clock, make it two possession ball game. Biggest play of the game so far right now for K-Mac and for Shakobi. This is just the biggest play of the game across the board. Sony Michelle in at halfback. Dorsett coming in motion from right to left. Fourth and three for K-Mac. Brady dropping back. Pressure. Under pressure. Doesn't get there. It's picked off. Big interception by Shakobi, and now room. he's got some room on the left side. He's got room. He's got Nicky room. Up. He cuts inside. Ah. He breaks the tackle. What's better than getting a stop on fourth down? How about a pick six? Shakobi extends the lead. Wow, that is a rough one right there for K-Mac. Trying to stay strong in the pocket with Tommy Ball game. Throws it under pressure, gets hit. And then Shakobi with the stick work to take it back for six. Now he's going for two. Looking to make it a full 14-point game. High pass, good defense. It's going to stay 12. You like the call to go for two this early? Yes, I always love the two call. Oh, not bad. 12-point game, 13-point game. Not a huge difference there. Well, now, how about the response needed from K-Mac? Down by 12, coming off a of pick six. Look at this formation. That's strong close. This is old school right here. Strong close, you usually gotta watch the toss. Yep, the toss and the off tackle. Good block on the outside. Oh, good stick work. I know about that formation, man. That was a, that, that, this strong close formation has faded off into Madden, but there was a few years though, there were strong close. I mean, this was the meta. I mean, the off tackle, the wide trail, the toss, the quick fades. I mean, this, this formation had some plays and K-Mac looking old school with it right now. That's what that, uh, that's what Cuba was running back in the day. The strong close? Yes, and he ran a week and he would send the guy in motion and then he would flip it and then it, uh, it was... Uh. <laughs> and here's the worst part. If I tried to explain it to you, I'd be doing a terrible job because I didn't understand it then to stop it. Who could spin? 15 years later, trying to stop it now. One of the funnest time, Madden times I had with Rico is uh, we were at a Madden challenge. Just, must have been five or six of us in a hotel room. And we had a competition. We did a fantasy draft and franchise mode and just simulated the whole thing to see who drafted the better team and whoever made it furthest in the season one. Um, I ended up winning the Super Bowl and taking it down. Ah, oh, quarter round Ooh. into the end zone. Is it Philip Dorsett? Yep. The speedster over the top. K-Mac with the response. Kick is up. It is good. It's a five-point ball game. <laughs> Jay himself in the chat, he says, we might have a Schifoldi situation on our hands. It's a big, big drive right here. Buck 25 to go in the third quarter. And you know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. This is where they're going for two. Hurt Jacoby. Because now a field goal. Still a one-possession ball game. It's the only reason I don't like chasing points in the third. Yeah, you kick it? Yep, he kicked that extra point. Now all he needs is a field goal to make it two-possession ball game. So, yeah, I, I was wrong. I, I was saying I, I didn't think it was a big deal, but obviously ends up being a really big deal right here because field goal still one-possession ball game for K-Mac. So that ended up being a huge play. See what K-Mac can do out of this 5-2. For those wondering where you can find the 5-2, it's in the multiple defensive playbook and the Buffalo Bills defensive playbook. It's become, quickly become one of the more popular defensive formations in Madden 19, especially if you want to send pressure. I love that recognition there by Shakobi, recognizing pressure off the edge, soft defense in the back, hitch route underneath, throws it to him, and then he doesn't take a hit, because that's where you get so many fumbles is Coming up to the safety, taking a big hit. Mahomes, pressure coming. He's got to get rid of it. Just gets it off, but it would have been better to maybe just do nothing as he's going to pick up nothing on the play. Four's up in the chat. We're heading to the fourth quarter. It's a five point ball game. Guys, we got back to back good games in the A pod. In the A pod. Thank you. I had to, I had to, you had to yeah, clarify. Are you telling me that the 80 points scored by Jay Bird wasn't a good game? It was kind of cool when he covered the 85 point spread, I'm not going to lie. Second and 10. I mean, Shakobi has done a great job so far just handling this 5 2. This is not an easy, easy defense to play. That pressure comes in quickly. You have to make quick decisions. 
But so far, Shakobi very effective on offense against it. Ooh, big first down. We're seeing, I think this might, you, you, you talk about tournaments, and you, you could talk about sort of themes. You see some big plays. This tournament so far has been the swing route by the halfback has been monstrous for a lot of different players here in the first round. Well, especially against a formation like 5-2. I mean, those goons are going to be coming quick. And sometimes if you try to block six or seven, it, it, it's not going to be enough. Sometimes blocking the extra people isn't the right thing to do to stop that pressure. Sometimes you just need to send everybody out on routes, know that he's sending more people than can cover everything, and make that quick read. RJ, are we going to see you at the EDM concert tonight? You got your glow sticks ready? No. No. <laughs> just a firm no. <laughs> Rico in there. The shirt's off and the wife beat a glow stick. <laughs> Oh, gee. Five-point game, but a huge sack on second down. It sets up a third and long for Shakobi. Pressure coming once again. Gets it off quickly, finding Tyree Kill. Gets it to a fourth and short. Doing such a good job. Just getting that ball out quick, but now he gets himself in a fourth and four. Will he get Shakobi-ish or will he get Shafoldi-ish? What do you got, Chad? Is he going Shakobi? Is he going Shafoldi? And by the way, this is the last game of the evening. We will be back tomorrow with our final 48, broken into a 64-person bracket with a couple of buys going to the top seeds. So. Tried to throw it across his body, looking for Kelsey on the crossing route. Couldn't find him. And now 3-0-1 to go in the game, and K-Mac. RJ, this is a guac drive. Spin right there. Yeah, this is big right here for K-Mac. Shafoldi may be taking form right here. How can he clutch up? Is he Shafoldi or is he Shaglory? They're calling for signature Shafoldi in the chat. My 20! My 20! Five-point ball game. Shakobi still on top. Nick's supposed perfect pick record on the line here. It's not supposed, it's absolute fact. I, I believe you, but Because we all picked I, the same the first three games. I believe you, I just want someone to fact check. We picked the same the first three games, then then Rico dissented, and then RG dissented. Paint 18, he's saying he ain't folding. He believes in Shakobi. Shakoldi. Saying he's going to be ready for that strong Two close. Minute warning. And real quick, we just need to take a second. Today's one of the birthdays of a Madden legend, for those that didn't know. Uh, if you're in the chat, give my guy Justin Chow, the legend himself, a happy birthday because it is my guy Chow's birthday today. A true legend of competitive Madden, of EA. Happy birthday, my guy Chow, man. One of my, one of, if not my best friend in the whole world. Oh, Chow, I'm actually hurt. How did Chow not say something earlier? I am going to get roasted if he hears me putting that out there because you know how he is. Yes. If he had his way, everything. nobody would have known anything. But you know what? What is he now, 73? Yeah, around there. He and Bogues went to high school together? <laughs> yeah, he was a freshman when Bogues was a senior. Got it. But yeah, happy, happy birthday to Chow. I hope you guys wish him a happy now, birthday Bogues in the chat. And now is a senior once again. If you have him on Twitter, go wish him a happy birthday on Twitter. Show him some love, but right now. Minute 40 and counting. It's Second and 10. Can K-Mac show Tom Brady in this offense some more love? All right, chat, here's the question. Without going over $20, what would you get Chow for his birthday? You have a $20 budget. What would be the best gift you could get Chow? Madden 04. Pepsi. Baby, get a boy. Get Pepsi. A, boy. a case of Pepsi? This is as much Pepsi as I could buy for that oh, amount of money. Pepsi. Nobody likes Pepsi more than my guy Chow. This is big play right here, boys. As much as, I, as much as I would love to talk about Chow's birthday presents, we got ourselves action right now in the fourth quarter, almost under a minute left. Watch for Gronk here on third and six. Dorsett coming in motion from left to right. Patterson in the backfield. Brady dropping back on third down. Looking for Gronk. Big defensive play to bat that out of the tight end's hands. And how about a fourth down opportunity for Shakobi? to kick the Shafoldi name. A little Tony Romo action right there from Nick calling for the Gronk pass. I'm shocked he didn't bring that one down. Call me Fat Romo. There it is. This is a big play right here. This isn't the game, though, because K-Mac still has three timeouts. 
fourth and six. Patterson now a wide receiver in the slot. Sony Michelle on the right hip of Tom Brady. Fourth down. K Mac locked in. Jacoby locked in. Could this be the game deciding play? Brady. Screen. Pressure picked up nicely. Wow, down the what field. a thought. How about the offensive line holding up long enough for K Mac to find a receiver wide open down the field? Phillip to set another big catch. You got to love the guts to make that call there. Brilliant play right there by K-Mac. Sends the house, finds a way to get away from the pressure. Jacoby's user nowhere in the middle of the field. Dials up the crispy dot, and he's moving. But remember, field goal no good right here. If you're K-Mac, this is it. It's touchdown or bust. And look at him use all this clock. If he scores, he doesn't want to give the ball back to Jacoby with any time left. Yep, this is it. This is going to be... Brady! The last Hit it yeah. and go! Oh, and go! Jacoby with the pick! Oh, we almost fumbled! Heavily almost stripped that ball. Now he's got oh, that three timeouts. <laughs> that would have been, would have been vintage. But he's not trying to hear that Shafoldi talk right now. He's Shakobi. Now three timeouts remaining for K Mac, and you know he's going to be running the ball. So not out of it quite yet. Oh, oh, oh. What, a, what a cut, and then a, a questionable spin back inside. Drop the Foldy and call him Clutchy. Sh clutchy. I don't know yet. There's still time. Yeah, like there's, there's still, time. still 14 seconds is way too much time. It's your foldy time. Drop the foldy and call him clutchy. Gets outside, spins oh, back no. inside, That's fighting. Fumbled. Eight seconds. They're, they're calling him Shigoti in the chest. Does third inches turn into fourth and one? Left, 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 left. Oh, gee. Yeah, I think he just got to punt the ball. Get the fourth Take down. First oh, down, did he get it? Yep. 17 yard line, last time out that's taken. Game. That's Shaklachi. Shaklachi. <laughs> Let's go. GG's. What a game, what a finish. <laughs>